Hi, I'm Brian from GoProvince.com. The holidays have come and gone, and after all those hams, turkeys, and meats and cheeses, we have some holiday weight to take care of. So I'm, thankfully, I'm here with Wendy from the Ward Figure Skaters. We're here at the Bank of America Skating Center, and we're going to go strap on some skates and have some fun. All right, well, before we can get out there on the ice, first things first, we've got to make sure the skates are laced up tight. So, Wendy, where do we start? First, you want to make sure your tongue is completely open, laced all the way down to the toe. Okay. And then you're going to press that tongue in nice and firm. And from the bottom, just grab your laces and pull nice and snug. Well, what about skate size? Do you recommend people go tighter, um, two size? You normally, skates will run differently depending on the brand, but normally we will run about around the same size as your shoe. Okay. Um, you don't necessarily want to put a skate on that is too big for you. Okay. Because your foot will slash around and it right. can be quite dangerous. Once you get to the ankle, that's where you want to have it nice and snug. Okay. And then you're just going to loop around those hooks, not too tight, not too loose. If you have hockey skates, you can wrap them around your ankles if you like. Okay. I was going to say, mine don't have hooks. You know, the figure <laughs> skates will have hooks, the hockey skates will have no hooks. And then once you get to the top, nice secure bow, and you're on your way. All right. Wendy, we're on the ice. What do you got for us? What kind of tips should, should, should we know? to stay safe out here and have fun. Well, first thing to stay safe out here, you definitely want to make sure you wear the right clothing. Keep yourself warm, you know, keep yourself cushioned in case you do fall down. Good to know. Um, you know, basically, you want to try and stand up nice and tall if you can. Mm -hmm. Your back straight, bend those knees, bend those ankles, and take small steps if it's, if it's your first time out here. And if we were to fall, what's the best way to go about doing that? Hypothetically, of course. Hypothetically, <laughs> if you were to fall down, you want to try to bend, your, bend those knees okay. and fall to your side if you can. You don't want to be filleting your arms and falling backwards, you know, could hit your head. Good to know. <laughs> you don't want to do that. What are the sort of tips for people who maybe are the intermediate stages as far as maybe getting the most most of the workout out on the ice here? Oh, definitely most of the workout. You could do a lot of different things. Um, we could do scullies with our feet, okay. bend those knees and ankles, get a good quad workout. Okay. Um, you do it long enough, you can get cardiovascular workout going, get the heart rate up, some slalom moves like we do in skiing, um, you know, dips. You really start working those legs out. You get a good workout. Okay, well this is certainly a, a, a great way to burn off some of those holiday calories we've accumulated. Wendy, thank you so much. Thank you. For more, web, more videos like this, check out our website, goprovince.com. Thanks.